Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome to today's mathematics with your girl Sunshine Monet L. Today is 9248. You already know we're in the day of 2 4. This is the energy of past that, that we're into. Now we're in that feline, fertile cat, bringing on the energy of loyalty, um, a spiritual connectivity, uh, being wanting to be the center of intention. So we kind of got like that Leo kind of vibe happening right now. So, you know, celebrate, celebrate the energy of the cats. On this day, 2-4, we're in the third decade of the month. This is the decade of creation, expression, and understanding. This decade, we are focusing on our balance and harmony, not really applicating the things that, you know, we took initiative on during the first decade or in a space where it was ones in a tens place, you know what I'm saying? So now we're in that space of finding the balance, the harmony, and the wisdom, which comes from discernment, which comes from ex exercising our said knowledge, Ashe. So today is 2-4, finding wisdom in that foundation of things. You know, 2-4, both numbers also associate with my yacht. So expect some things to, uh, you know, be shed to the light, bring truth and justice towards, you know, um, shedding uh, the truth on the level of justice that we're in. Uh, my condolences out to the family of, I want to, excuse me if I miss say his name, but Marcellus Williams, it, from my recollection charged to my uh my mind and not my heart but um this is definitely a day in my yacht for the family um that two and four come together and that makes six that brings us to a space of equality working on our uh, health wealth daily routine our moral and integral code what we're teaching on and what we're learning about ashe um so you know we find a wisdom on that foundation we're t really heavily tapped into my yacht as we have been since the uh since the 22nd you know really focusing on that two two energy um two is definitely in in alignment with my yacht being associated with number two uh for the fourth sphere in the tree of life is the um is the sephira of my yacht um and this is the, the foundation of all things because everything starts in the deep waters, whether it's the deep cosmic waters, the, the uh, you know, the physical waters, everybody coming through the womb, all of our brains and our bodies are submerged in water. Our planet is submerged in water. Our, our uh, celestial bodies are submerged in water. Everything is submerged in water, right? Deep waters of Olukun. We don't see where it begins and we don't see where it ends, Ashay. Um, so we take that six um, and we're going to put it into the month right so we're taking that that balance that discernment that wisdom and the foundation that energy of justice you know the libra scales the oba scales also to being associated with taurus energy priorities and what we see value in right um we're applying that to our health wealth daily routine where is our moral and integral code at you know how in alignment is it with my yacht um how, how wise are we in the space of things of how it goes when we um contribute our justice law and truth to things you know what i'm saying and we put it into the cosmos and that brings us um one in five so you see the the um the pattern is even though we put two and four up there to make six we got back one and five that's still going to make six right and this is knowledge and walking in the power of your truth with said knowledge and that's the response that we get from the nines um after putting this into the number of being born this number of completion this number of yesad the uh, celestial womb um bring us to that energy of the moon and cancer energy but also then bringing us to sagittarius jupiter energy that also rules over the sacral chakra and is the overseer of the celestial bodies in the space you know helping keeping everything to a certain level of equilibrium by like bouncing off asteroids and you know having such a big um electromagnetic energy um, and pull on things and push on things that keeps a nice balance in outer space to where like things aren't just colliding and we're not playing pinball. Um, so, you know, this is what we get back. You have the knowledge now walk in the power of that truth, you know, and that's the response from the celestial waters. Um, you know, one being the Ketters, one being, you know, that initiative energy, that energy of a goon, you know, taking action. Um, being motivated, being ambitious, being triggered, whether it's the anger, pleasure, or whatever. Um, that celestial enforcer five also deals with Hera Kahuti, which is the celestial enforcer. Also dealing with that energy of Mars. Five also deals with the fifth house of Leo energy. That's another different kind of fire. Same fires, you know, fire. Uh, walking with confidence and courageousness, right? Creativity. You know, fear, a sense of fearlessness, being that, that lioness or that lion in the in the kingdom, Ashe. Um, so having that combination of that Leo, uh, Aries energy, also five can be associated with the mindset of Gemini in the numerology world, being fickle and adventurous and, um, you know, versatile and adaptable, just be mindful of being grounded as well, 
You know what I'm saying? Reach for the fours, reach for the twos, um, for that sense of groundedness. Six is a mutable ground, but it's still something to reach for, I say. So now we have another six, and we're ap applying that to our health, wellness, and daily routine. That's what that's what the nine say. It says take that take that knowledge, take walking in the power of your truth, and do it every day. Make it a part of what you speak on. Make it a part of your everyday vernacular. Make it a part of what you're learning about on a daily basis. Make it a part of your daily routine. It should be applicable to your daily routine. Um, it's essential, right? And um, and we move in that. I see somebody post something earlier, and it wasn't no shade or nastiness, but it was just like I noticed how a lot of people get so spiritual that they become useless in the physical world. Um, they don't even want to have a job but want to inbox me and ask me for money. And I was like, you know, it's, it's a good point that's been brought up. And to those kind of people, I say, walk in the power of your truth. And yes, that removes you from a lot of the jobs and, and the corporations to work for and the paperwork to fill out and stuff like that. But there are still things that you can do to generate uh, currency. It's still different things that you can do to generate abundance. It's just you're still trying to marinate in a community that you can't marinate in. You're still trying to um serve two masters in some type of sense otherwise you wouldn't be going to those people asking for funds and then i was saying if you want to be in those spaces there are jobs that you know need your level of spirituality from teaching to working in public offices and city halls and different organizations that be hiring that need people healthcare organizations organizations and businesses that need people you could just be the receptionist you know what i mean you could be the activities director um you know go volunteer in some places when you volunteer in some places sometimes that leads you to certain job opportunities start taking over these churches you know what i'm saying these pillars will always be here these pillars have always withstood the the test of time but they need to be infiltrated with new energy so that's where you come in you know stay in your ground and that's really like that one in five coming together to make six. Because it's not just about being non-physical in the one in five, but you got to be in the physical, that mutable physical energy of six. You know what I'm saying? And you still got to have the fours. And you still, you still today is two four. It's still, you still have to be grounded. You know, we're org body, but right now we're in the physical experience. So like, you know, take advantage. Um, So let's look at that five. And we're going to put it into the year of eight. This is the year of transformation, death, and rebirth. This is the year of the wood dragon. High highs make low lows. The goal is to be the homeostasis in the middle. Um, eight is the energy of Sebek. Now we're dealing with Mercurian, uh, the celestial classifiers. It's where we come into species. And a head is a head, is a toe is a toe. But they're all still part of the big body. So don't get stuck on sphere eight. Uh, eight, dealing with Oya rules over the elders in the marketplace and the businesses and the witches. So you see a lot of law, justice, and truth being uh, shed to light in there because Oya brings the destruction. Oya brings the storm, um, the death before, you know, the re end the rebirth. But that, that eight was created by two, zero, two, four. And two, as well as the fourth sphere, are both associated with Mayat, bringing the law, justice, and the truth, right? So it's so this, this year of Oya has been brought to you by Mayat. So those two uh, Orishas, those two deities, those two energies, those two Sephiroths are coming together. Um, and you see a lot of women on top right now because of it. Whether they're Oya-centered women that bring destruction or they're Mayat-centered women that bring truth and justice. Um, though the women are on the forefront because of this energy, right? And as long as we're in the two zeros, two something, well, whether we're in two zero, two five, two zero, two six, two zero, it's all, it's all Mayat. It's all my yacht bringing these energies right now. Okay. So we move in gratitude. We move in the abundance of that energy. Um, so that brings us to 13. Today is a karmic debt number of 13. Um, one and three, learning how to take action on your understanding, learning how to exercise and create and experience the things that you know. Um, you know, we move in gratitude for the ability to be able to do that. I know that that is a karmic debt number because it's a very difficult task for us to do. We know so many things, but we have a lot of fear in us that prevent us from acting on the things that we know. Um, a lot. What if I don't pay this bill? Or what if I decide not to fill out this application? What if I don't send my kids over here? I don't. People gonna talk about me. People gonna think about me. This that. What if I do go into the woods and build a house? People gonna do this and somebody gonna do that. Like it's a lot of fear that prevents y'all from living in y'all truth and the things y'all know. So that's why that's a karmic debt number, and that's why we have to break out of it, right? Overall, today is a day of four. Today is a day of my yacht. Today is a day of foundation, you know, building upon things, materializing in this space. Um, 
So what is your foundation based upon? You know what I'm saying? We had we started the day with a wisdom on the foundation. So now we're in the space of foundation. So what are you building upon, you know, on this day of Wednesday, this day of invocation, this day of Alegua? Ashe. So I'm sorry, I was long winded today. But let's talk about the astrological, astronomical update. We start the day off with a 57% wanting gibbous moon. Moon rising at 11.19 p.m. and setting at 2.42 p.m. We are Gemini, so we're in that thought process of being versatile and adaptable. Why our constellations is in that four type energy of Taurus and our heart chakra. Um, in that space of like priorities and what we seek value in. Sunrise at 6.48 a.m. and setting at 6.52 p.m. A invisibility of Vesta begins. No, it's not visible at night. The last quarter moon at 2.51 p.m. The moon best visible before sunrise. So now we're going in between wine and give us much as the cleansing of the physical things i'm sure you guys cleaned up a bunch of papers clothes shoes purses you know moving those those crates around bringing the winter clothes out what can you fit what can't you fit you know purging out old mail and all that stuff like that that's where we are with it so now that we've entered this last quarter moon now we're about to enter the wanting crescent so we're about to start cleansing intangible things non-physical things mindsets and habits and behaviors and thought processes and stuff like that right the east side of the moon mayor Chrysium is tipped into view at 4 24 p.m south pole at 10 57 pm galaxy ngc 55 and sculptor constellation is at midheaven at 12 26 a.m venus enters scorpio um at 1 p.m and mercury enters virgo constellation at 12:01 a.m so we have venus entering scorpius i want to say that is the uh zodiac that we're entering right now so your mindset on that sexual sensual energy and conception and transformation and power and the things that you seek uh wealth and value and and, and things you have priorities in happy conceiving with venus in this space you might feel your heart chakra you know speaking to you loudly and more often about the things that it wants and the things that it's ready to build upon Mercury entering Virgo constellation, so more organization happening in your space of communication and how you go about doing things. That's what I got for you today, Cosmic Nobodies.